Hello there guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to make a light trails effect in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into using selection tools like single column marketing tool, select subject, using transformation command and warp, applying motion blur and applying curves to darken our background. So let's get started. So here in our document, I prepare her an image of this motorcycle rider. And our goal here is to apply a light trail. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection on our subject. So to do that on the layers panel, make sure that you're selected on the background layer. Go to the menu bar, go to select and then choose subject and let Photoshop instantly create a selection around the subject. So there you are. Now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to cut this subject by creating its own layer. So to do that, with this selection and also with the background layer selected, press Ctrl plus J. There you are. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. So going back, now let's name this layer as the subject. Alright, so with this subject layer selected, we're going to create another selection with the use of single column marketing tool. So where to find that? Going on to the toolbar, go on to the second tool for a second, right click, and then you can find single column marketing tool. So like that, right? And then we're going to get a selection. So I'm just going to click our canvas on this area near his helmet. There you are. Okay, so once, our, once I already have that, so actually we already have a selection inside this line. So I'm going to press Control plus J to create of its own. Now let's name this layer as the light trail light trails okay so from that light trails layer selected press ctrl plus t to bring out the transformation command and then i'm going to press ctrl hold it and then click and drag this point going to the right something like this okay and then hit enter once i did that i already stretch out the part of the selection that we made from the light trails layer and then from this light trails layer i'm going to change its blending mode so go here so just go here on this part click on this arrow and then choose on linear dodge okay so once i did that actually we're starting to see the light trails here but we still have to fix this one we're going to add a layer mask on this for us to make this area seamless okay so from the light trails layer selected, go here, click on the add layer mask icon. There you are. Then press B for the brush tool. Once we already selected that from the options on top, I'm going to make use of a soft round brush for the opacity just to 50%. Okay. And for the foreground color, make sure that it's black. There you are. Okay. And then I'll start removing some from on this area. Okay. Now, the next step here is we're going to continue on fixing this with the use of warp. So, selected on that light trees layer, let's bring out again the transformation command. So, press Ctrl plus T to do that. And then, with this transformation command, right click on it and then choose warp. Okay. Now, I'm going to move this light trails going here. So, it seems like our motorcycle rider was here before he was on this position. looking good isn't it and then hit enter okay now the next step here is we're going to add a motion blur from the light trails layer okay so select it on that light trails layer go to the menu bar go to filter go to blur and then find motion blur okay so this motion blur dialog box will appear from the angle i'm gonna set this one to zero degrees okay so for the distance yes i'm going to adjust that from the effect that I want. Okay, so I think I'm good with 100 pixels. Okay, so it creates this kind of effect. All right, and now hit OK. And there you are. And one last thing, let's darken our background. So select into that subject layer. Let's go to the adjustment layer icon, click that, and then choose on curves. Okay, so under this histogram, let's create a point here in the middle. So once we already created that point, let's click and drag this down. Okay, 
to darken up our image okay so something like this we're done with it now let me show you the before and after so this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to create a light trails effect in photoshop